Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to connect your PHP file with MySQL database using XAM server. So let's get started. First of all, you have to go to XAM control panel. Then start Apache module and MySQL module. Then in your browser, go to localhost PHP admin to create your database. Click on new. Give a database name. I am giving database1 and click on create. So database is created and our database name is database1 and server name is localhost as you can see. Now let's create the PHP file. Go to C directory. Inside it, go to XAM folder. Then go to HEDOCS folder and create a new folder inside HEDOCS folder. Let me keep the name as PHP tut. Click enter and go inside this folder to create your PHP file. Right click, click on new, click on text document. We are going to change the extension from .txt to .php. And let me keep the name as index. So our file name will be index.php. Click on yes to change extension. Then right click anywhere in this window and click on open with code. You can open with any other code editor as per your wish. So this is our index.php file. And now we are going to code the PHP code to connect to MySQL server. At first, let us initialize the server name. Dollar server name equals to our server name is localhost. Then let us give the username. Username will be root. In my case, the username is root. You should check what is you, your username. Then we need to give the password. I have given root as my password. But you need to check what password you have given in your MySQL database management system. And you should give according to that. Then let us create the connection. $con is the variable inside which we will create the connection object. So $con is equal to new MySQL i and inside it give dollar server name then give the username then give the password and that is it now check if connection is successfully done or not if dollar con gives connect error that is connection error then it should exit the process and give a message connection failed. So using the die function, give the message connection failed. And beside it, print the error. So if there is no error, it should print connection successful. So echo connection successful. Save this file and yeah, 
never forget to close the connection it is a good practice con close and that's it now let us run this file go to your browser type localhost and the name of your folder inside hdocs in my case it is php tut and then the name of the php file that is index.php and then click enter and as you can see it is showing connection successful so this is how you can connect php to mysql using xam server thanks for watching my video if you like my video subscribe to my channel and ring the notification button to never miss any updates Thank you.